Well, welcome back to a walk in the woods gear review from Northeast 360. So today we're gonna take a little different path wise and it's a shorter video, not one of those long ones that I normally do. We're only really going to review one piece of gear today um, at our favorite place to hike and walk. Figure we take you to a different section. I normally go left, but today for all of you folks, we're gonna go right. Um, so with that, we are reviewing a Maxpedition Versa Pack Fat Boy. On our walk through a glorious, wet, damp, just outside of Boston review. When we get a little further up, I will hang this on something and we'll just take a detailed look at the product. Now, I purchased this bag kind of with multiple rolls uh, set into it. You know, I go on my hikes after work and you know what I'm tired of carrying a water bottle in my hand you know some place to put a little bit of snacks some place to put a little bit of rescue gear you know i go out to some places that are super remote sometimes they're directly off the main drag now that's it's initial thought and roll but it's also now become what some people might call a get home bag or a bailout bag in law enforcement it's usually a bailout bag you're trapped you need to get out and have some products with you that will assist you in getting home or you know, back to your station or just, hey, I'm on search and rescue. I better bring some medical. I better bring some food, some water. I may be out there for a while. You know, oh crap, I left, I left my flashlight in the cruiser. Guess what? That's what this bag helps as. Now, I have quite a few items in there. One as a get home bag, slash bailout bag, that I think you should have. You know, you need some medical. We'll discuss that. I'll show you where my compartment for medical is. When we have, when we get into a clearing where I can hang this bag up, but it serves a multitude of purposes. It's indiscreet, it's not super tactical. That's why I like the bag. I can go on a hike and it is relatively, you know, a blase thing. There's a nice little view of what I'm walking beside and hiking. That would be the Charles River, it's an offshoot still cold enough to have a little ice on it but essentially what this is is a deer path off in the other direction of where I normally hike just outside of Austin but it does have dangers one wrong step you twist an ankle you are now maybe 100 yards, 200 yards from the road, but you snap your leg because you fall in a, 
a little hole. Well, what do you have on you? What do you have to get you comfortable or keep you alive until, you know, rescue comes? Now, even when I go out and hike during the daytime, sometimes, you've seen me, I hike close to dark. Do I have a headlamp? These are all the things that are inside this bag. Um, I didn't want a grossly large bag, so I picked this. Does it 100% do the job? Uh, I have mixed reviews on that. Um, I think it has kind of one useless pocket in it uh, that could have been redesigned more like their Jumbo VersaPak Fat Boy. Uh, having that, you know, the Nalgene container holder or holster or whatever you want to call it. I think that would have been a smarter option for this bag i mean it is their diehard bag lots of people buy these hikers uh, you know law enforcement military guys they have a long pedigree and history of selling this specific product now with that said as we meander around when we get up to this clearing and this beautiful oak tree I will put this bag down and we will check out what I have in it, how I pack it. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It never will be. But it's what I feel I would need. Some people will say, well, you need this or you need that. You know, the comments below, they'll run free. Uh, just be respectful. No. I'm not out here to put out bad information. I'm not out here to put out, I'm an expert, because I am not. Uh, but I've been in enough situations in my life where having a little bit of extra gear on you is not a bad thing. Now, we're here, find a spot. So this is the Maxpedition VersaPak Fat Boy in khaki and this is what again i use as my bailout bag slash get home bag now this bag does have concealed carry pocket in it uh, it has a main pocket side pocket it has a small front pocket right here that I keep my fire kit, compass, you know, if I'm out in the woods and I get stuck here, I need it. It has good, thick straps, decent plastic um, buckles. Uh, I believe these are, yep, YKK zippers on all compartments. Now, once you flip open your outer cover you'll come up with this quick access pocket i keep right in the rain notebook because in my job you can never have enough notebooks pen pencil sharpie inside it has a little weather tie and as you can see i keep two bottles of water snacks and an s o a emergency bivy slash blanket. So that's my main compartment. Again, like I said, I have this for when I'm out I'm hiking or something's wrong. It's the winter. I need to get home or stay in place for to be rescued. First thing I do have is a quick access tourniquet. That is a cat tourniquet. Um, top of the line, it's exactly what you want. I uh, believe this one is, I picked this up at 511 Tactical. 
a while back before they closed in Braintree. Next pocket we have, I have OC spray. You know what? It, in my job, carrying less than lethal absolutely is necessary. Uh, it's your, it's, it's a deterrent when crazy people are at you, but also you're hiking out in the woods here in this beautiful country by the river. You have everything from deer to coyotes to possums to raccoons. I, I'm not shooting anything unless I have absolutely no choice, okay? So if a coyote gets too close to me and my little buddy, which I usually hike with Lobo, uh, he is my companion on most of my hikes. He's home, he's sick, so we gave him the day off. But a good container of OC spray can get you out of that situation. I'd rather spray an animal that's trying to be aggressive or get too close, and hopefully that deters it to run away. 90% of the time, it works on four-legged and two-legged. Now, with that said, moving to my next pocket, which was under the main clip, that is going to be my trauma pack. I have all kinds of blowout stuff here. I also have the itchy and boo-boos, triangular bandages, uh, hemostatic agents, Advil, these days, masks, CPR, another Sharpie, gloves. Um, I like putting everything in little plastic bags because this is partially waterproof, this bag, but it is not completely waterproof. So a little extra protection here, again, cat tea on the outside. When I am with my dog Lobo or I am with any of my children, I also put a rat's tourniquet. Now it's a different type of tourniquet. Most people in the know know what they are. I did bring one with me. Uh, that'll sit in here. Now, rat's tourniquets on my big leg and my big body, uh, not really gonna happen. Uh, it's really, and honestly, for my dog, or for one of my children. Because if you open up one of these cat tourniquets, they're just too large to do the job. It might do the thigh on a child, but it, it, it just is not there. It doesn't have enough tightening power. These do. These are great for children, great for animals. You know, you're running, the dog falls into a hole like you saw earlier on my video. It breaks its leg. You know, you've gotta be able to treat your dog too. And if you can get them out of there without having to carry them, more power to it. Uh, a branch goes through its leg. Y you want to get them home. You want to get them to that vet, just like you would want a child to get to EMS. So, rat's tourniquet all day long. Small people, small frames, great. Otherwise, I'll just leave that open because it's hard to do one-handed. Now we're gonna move to my next pocket. My next pocket carries a headlamp and 50 feet of 550 cord. Now, 550 cord plus my fire kit, plus my very, very thick Mylar survival blanket. It, it's enough to make myself a little bivy to keep me out of the cold on most factors. All right, I do have a secondary cheapo that I can always make my shelter and keep some of that rain and some of that weather off of me. Now, moving on. We already discussed my front zip pocket is always gonna have my lighter, my compass, things like that. It does have a nice little area that you can put a patch. Say you just wanna carry this bag strictly medical, you can. Slap your medical patch on top. Everyone's really gonna know what that cross is. You know, whether it's a red cross because you're a civilian or a green cross if you're in the military. It doesn't matter, but you can label this with what you need. I mean, you can even buy a patch that says blowout bag so that you can, you know, it's your vehicle survival bag because essentially this is what this is for me. Now, in my main compartment, which is the CCW compartment, 
I carry a backup flashlight. This is a Streamlight ProTac. Takes two double A's, an extra knife, a multi tool, chem light, and a spare magazine for my CCW. Now, I carry my CCW on me uh, due to work and everything else, but having that extra spare mag does wonders. Uh, other features of this bag, it does have a quick release shoulder strap. Uh, excellent, you get caught on something, you're hanging up on it, boom, you can quick release. I would love to see a tad higher end bag made by uh, Maxpedition and having something like Cobra buckles, large and small, on theirs. Uh, I, I think that would be a great addition to this system. Uh, I do have, it has a quick pull handle, so you can just grab it and go, throw it over your shoulder. I put my Shemog, Shemio, whatever you want to call it, on there because, you know, hat, gloves. I'm getting out of the car, it's winter. Normally I have a set of gloves here. I just took them out for the video. They usually rest just like that. Hat on top of it, sealed in. That's how my bag is packed. So I have a hat, I have a scarf, I can stay warm, gloves all day long. For the environment, it changes out. It can be a ball cap in the summertime to keep that sun and heat off of you or winter gear. As it is winter now, I am wearing the hat that I normally have in it because I forgot a hat today. Second up, it does have a little key, key, kip, ugh, key clip. We don't edit out things. Uh, you can put your keys to your vehicle, vice versa. You can hang a strobe off of this uh, so that you can be seen at night your chem light on it so that you can see your bag at night. Uh, there are a lot of situations that you can utilize that clip for. You can add a pouch, albeit it would be a small pouch. On each side of where I keep my pepper spray, there is a section that you can put a pen. I, I feel that is not necessary with all the other pockets to utilize those as that. Uh, I may throw a fire starter uh, ferrocerium rod on there uh, just to have a third piece. I keep a Bic lighter. I keep waterproof matches in here. I keep a little tinder in here along with some earplugs and my small compass. Over to the back. It is well padded. It does have a strap, even though it's a little bit small for me. Uh, I would need to have these extended. I am a very large guy, especially when I'm wearing body armor. Uh, it is well padded. It does have a breathable factor, so you're not getting sweaty in those summer months. Uh, just really good quality. All the stitching is good. It's all double stitched where it needs to be double stitched. And for a light, quick moving pack, uh, it's aces. Um, it's exactly what I wanted. I was thinking in the original that I was going to pick up the jumbo Fat Boy Versa pack, but this just fits the role that I need. Uh, the the jumbo it just seemed to be it's a couple only a couple of inches in the center compartment larger, uh, but then it has the water bottle that makes the oversized pack oversized, the VersaPak Jumbo comes out to about here. And it's just, it's more gear and more that you have to track. Now I can throw my two water bottles in there. I always have water in my vehicle and go. You know, I have a day's worth of water, a day's worth of food. If, if not, um, I have a Sawyer Mini that's coming in. That's gonna go in here as well into that main compartment. Uh, that'll slide right in the center so I can refill my bottles. 
Uh, other than that, that's what I use this bag for. One last little add-on, it does have removable padding. You could slide other things up in here. It, it just has good attachment ports, por uh, parts to it. Now, it doesn't look overly tactical, and that's what I love about this bag. You put that scarf over anything that looks tactical and you blend in with everyday life in the city. So that's my review in this wonderful outdoor environment. By the river. Who could ask for anything more on a cloudy cloudy, rainy day in New England during the winter time. So, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, stay safe out there. And uh, keep moving. Keep moving forward. Enjoy life. This is Northeast 360. Out.